curry from 2,000 years ago. By analyzing the remains on stone grinding tools found at an archaeological site in Vietnam, scientists have identified eight different spices commonly used to prepare curries. Some of the spices were transported by sea over a distance of several thousand kilometers. Today it is difficult to imagine a world without spices. World trade allowed the import and export of all kinds of ingredients that enabled us to bring Indian or Chinese cuisine to our tables. But when did aromatic herbs begin to be traded? At the archaeological site of OCO in southern Vietnam, archaeologists found tools used to grind food. Their analysis showed the presence of residues from eight unique spices, from various sources, which were likely used in the curry making, giving a better idea of what his original recipe might have looked like. Some of them were transported by sea over a distance of several thousand kilometers. Scientists point out that this is evidence of the oldest curry ever found outside of India. These studies also show that the spice trade in this region dates back at least 2,000 years. The results and description of the research were published in the journal, Science Advances. During the excavations at the OCO site, scientists found a series of sandstone slabs, numerous pestles and mortars that resemble those used to make curries in ancient India. Presumably, tools of this type were initially brought to OCO by migrants, and were later produced locally. Scholars intrigued by ancient grinding tools wanted to check what the inhabitants of the ancient kingdom of Funan, which occupied the present area of Vietnam 2000 years ago, were preparing. These tools were found during the works carried out in 2017 to 2019. Some were excavated earlier and found their way to the collections of local museums. Of the 40 tools excavated from the OCO site that were examined, 12 showed the presence of spice residues. By analyzing the microscopic remains recovered from these 12 grinding and beating tools, the researchers found turmeric, ginger, galangal, cloves, nutmeg and cinnamon. This means that the inhabitants of this place actually used food processing tools, including pulverizing the rhizomes, seeds and stems of spice plants to release flavor. Dating of the finds and samples of coal found in the immediate vicinity showed that the tools and remains found on them are about 2,000 years old. Years. We suggest that migrants from South Asia introduced this culinary tradition to Southeast Asia around 2,000 years ago during early trade contacts across the Indian Ocean, the study authors write. The spices found in OCO would not be naturally available in the region. Someone must have transported them across the Indian Ocean or the Pacific Ocean. Turmeric, for example, originated in India and was, according to researchers, unknown in Southeast Asia during the reign of the Kingdom of Funan. This proves that curry has a fascinating history also outside of India and that this spice was coveted all over the world. We know that the global spice trade has linked cultures and economies in Asia, Africa and Europe since ancient times. However, most of our knowledge of early trade contacts comes from clues in ancient documents from India, China and Rome. New research is the first to confirm that spices were valuable commodities traded on a global trade network nearly 2,000 years ago. Another interesting discovery is that the curry recipe used today in Vietnam does not differ significantly from the ancient recipe according to which it was prepared in OCO. Key ingredients such as turmeric, cloves, cinnamon and coconut milk have remained unchanged in the recipe. This shows that a good recipe will stand the test of time. Four varieties of ginger have also been extracted from the ancient mills. Today, these particular ingredients are commonly used in Southeast Asian curries, but rarely used in India. Although the authors of the study may have come across the remains of the first curry in the kingdom of Funan, the same dish has much older roots, as evidenced by its remains from 4,000 years ago. Years found on dishes, pots and even on human teeth in ancient burials discovered in present-day Pakistan. Given the many lines of evidence, most notably the discovered spices and their association with Indian-style cooking tools, we can conclude that curry recipes came to Southeast Asia with South Asian traders and migrants as contact intensified in the early centuries of our era, the scientists conclude. The oldest DNA in history has been sequenced. It comes from a mammoth that lived 1.2 million years ago. 
an international team of scientists has sequenced DNA from the teeth of mammoths that lived over a million years ago. This is the oldest DNA ever recovered. This astonishing feat not only pushes the boundaries of scientific methods, but also reveals a hitherto unknown lineage of mammoths. From the teeth of three ancient mammoths that roamed Siberia between 700,000 and 1.2 million years ago, scientists extracted extremely degraded DNA and reassembled it. An article describing the research led by scientists from the Paleogenetics Center in Stockholm was published in the journal Nature. I love this article. I've been waiting eight years for it, says Ludovic Orlando, an ancient DNA specialist at the Center for Anthropobiology and Genomics in Toulouse, France. In 2013, Orlando led a team of scientists who held the previous record for sequencing the oldest DNA. They were obtained from a horse leg bone found in the northern part of Canada, living between 560 and 780,000 years ago. Years ago, genetic material breaks down relatively quickly in most environments. However, DNA extracted from the remains of animals buried in permafrost can survive for a long time. The harsh frost slows down the chemical degradation of the genetic material. Scientists have already suspected that if the right sample could be found, it would be possible to sequence really old DNA, coming from creatures that lived even a million years ago. DNA stores information in four key compounds, guanine, cytosine, adenine and thymine, commonly referred to as G, C, A and T, respectively. All the information that makes living organisms what there is encoded in this material. This information is, written, in an alphabet of only four letters. Orlando's team found that only 25 of these DNA letters could be successfully interpreted. The researchers estimated that million-year-old remains preserved in the permafrost of permafrost, which slows down DNA fragmentation, should also contain DNA fragments of this length. My only doubt was whether such a sample even existed, says Orlando. Love Dalen, an evolutionary geneticist at the Swedish Museum of Natural History, SMNH, in Stockholm, has been mulling over the idea of sequencing very old mammoth teeth since he first came across their collection in 2007. These samples, as previously determined by another team of scientists, came from the woolly mammoth, Mammothus primigenius, and two of its ancestors known as the plains mammoth, Mammothus trigontheri. Dallen hoped that the DNA from the samples could show the evolution of mammoths. But he was skeptical because of previous bad experiences with much younger samples also found in the frozen lands of Siberia. It's not like everything in the permafrost is always a perfectly preserved sample. The vast majority of them are useless, he admits. In fact, two of the three mammoth molars, excavated from sediments more than a million years old, contained so little DNA that if they were younger, they would have been discarded. But thanks to advances in sequencing technology and bioinformatics, his team was able to extract 49 million base pairs of nuclear DNA from the oldest sample from near the village of Krestovka. 884 million base pairs from the second tooth excavated near the Adaicha River in Yakutia, and 3.7 base pairs from the youngest samples. The age of the specimens had previously been determined based on geological data, the properties of the magnetic materials found in the surrounding rocks, and on the remains of various rodent species found in the same site. Both of these types of analysis showed that the oldest specimen is about 1.2 million years old. The second tooth in this respect is about 200,000 years younger. The third tooth comes from a woolly mammoth that roamed ancient Siberia about 700,000 years ago. Years ago, scientists have previously suggested that the two oldest teeth look like they belong to the plains mammoth. A species the researchers believe was an older cousin of the woolly and Colombian mammoths, Mammothus columbi, a North American species. But the sequenced genetic material showed a more complicated picture. The specimen from the Adaicha River belongs to the lineage that gave rise to woolly mammoths. But the one from the village of Krestovka belongs to a completely new, hitherto unknown lineage.
It looks like a different species, Dalen admits. Although the sample is from Russia, he suspects that the lineage was isolated from other steppe mammoths in North America. In the course of the research, scientists determined that Colombian mammoths are partly descended from a lineage of mammoths, whose remains were found near the village of Krestovka, and partly from woolly mammoths. Dallin estimates that the two lines intermixed over 420,000 kilometers. Years ago, while scientists have long expected a million-year-old genome to be sequenced, crossing that threshold is critical. There is a difference between what we think is possible and what we have actually achieved, says Vivian Slon, a paleogenetician at Tel Aviv University in Israel. By crossing the million-year threshold, ancient DNA researchers can access the early history of other mammals, large and small. Dalen's team of scientists now have very old samples of musk oxen, elk and lemmings excavated from the Siberian permafrost on their radar. Sequenced mammoth DNA does not represent the oldest biomolecular information extracted from the fossil record. In 2016, scientists announced the determination of the amino acid sequence of fragments of ostrich eggshells from 3.8 million years ago found in Tanzania. In 2019, another team of researchers determined the amino acid sequence from a 1.77 million year old rhino tooth discovered in Georgia. Protein sequencing is not as detailed as DNA sequencing. But proteins are much more durable, so scientists can use them to extract information from very old fossils found in places where there is no permafrost. The ostrich and rhino samples come from archaeological sites where harmonin remains have also been found. Scientists say that the chances of finding the remains of ancient human relatives from millions of years ago in the permafrost are very small. However, Dalen believes that the samples do not necessarily come from the permafrost. According to him, a suitable environment would also be provided by a deep and cold cave. As for the likely age limit of the permafrost samples from which ancient DNA could be sequenced, Dalen admits that is easy to determine. That's 2.6 million years. This is the permafrost border. It was too warm before.